So today I'm working on that go-go track. Just trying to come up with a cool horn line. So I busted out the trombone. Yeah. <laughs> and some candles. It's kind of rainy outside. I don't know if you can see. Let's see. Uh, can you see the rain? Uh, kind of. Anyway. So, uh... Yeah, it's getting messy in here. Espresso I didn't finish. Oops. Oh, hi, Tommy. Okay. Uh, but today I wanted to talk about uh, that, that 2.6.1 thing on the uh, Pro Tools session. So here, here's what I do. I recommend this to anyone doing, uh, let's see, like new versions or, or working on a song. So there's several steps in making the song in terms of the Pro Tools sessions. So you hear, you see here, here's a song uh, off the funk record, BCLG song, which stands for uh, The House of Music, a song I did with Larry Graham, BCLG. Uh, and then, basically what I do is, I start, here's old session files, BCLG song 1.0. 1.0 means, that's the session file uh, number that I put with while I'm writing the song. And then I switch to 2.0 when I start recording it, tracking it into Pro Tools. And then the point .1, point .2, point .3 stands for if I make any significant new changes to that session while I'm recording. So, you know, I can always, if I do a big edit or make a major change to something, I can always, if I don't like it, I can always go back to the other point. You know what I'm saying? So if I do a 2.2, and I'm like, ah, I'm not feeling it, I can go back to 2.1 and still have where I was. So then 3.0 starts the mixing stage. So when we start mixing all the elements together and for the final final sound of it. Uh, so then again, 3.1 and 3.2, that stands for additional major changes that I make in the mix. Now, in the case of that... Uh, what was I? Oh yeah, the R RPJ song 2.6.1. Uh, turns out 2.6. I was working uh, on the song and at the I was doing an edit and my computer crashed. <laughs> so I had this automatic backup every minute. It does a backup version of it. So uh, I restarted the computer and called it back up and then I opened the most recent backup. And then I saved as 2.6.1. Yeah, yeah, okay, you get it. Then we have another one. This is the final version I always make red. Uh, BCLG song 4.0. That means after I've done a mix and finished it, if we feel that we need to tweak it, or what we call do a recall on the mix, we will then make it a 4.0. Uh, so in that case, we ended up with 4.0 was the final, final, final recall mix. So it can keep going, 4.1, or even I've even had a 5.0, which means we recalled it again. So there you have it. Uh, okay, just wanted to explain that. So I recommend that system to anyone doing, I guess you could use that for if you're writing a book. You make a revision, make a point two, or point one, or if you're working on anything. Okay, so those are my stages of file hierarchy. <laughs> Later.